guys this is maria welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be sharing with you five cool sensory bins and extension activities that you can do at home with your toddlers and preschoolers like many other families around the world we are quarantined at home with two children i have a three-year-old and a five-year-old and over this period of time i filmed lots of videos from homeschool vlogs to rainy day activities how you can entertain your kids keep them busy keep them developing and not lose your mind we filmed this sensory bins video over two weeks so each sensory bin lived with us for two three days depending on what kind it was and some of them actually are easily pack up and you can reuse them later try those out uh, one thing about the sensory bins is that your child you will see they might have aversion to some textures they might have no interest in some of them and some of them they will absolutely love so you kind of have to try them all right i've said enough if this is kind of content you're looking for make sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a like if you liked it and now let's get to sensory bins one of our most favorite sensory bins it includes water beads i buy mine at hobby lobby and they come colored if you buy just clear ones you can soak them in and food coloring overnight i use gel food coloring and they will turn out just great a lot of sensory beans with water beads you see do not include water we actually edit water for extra fun because they look almost transparent and invisible uh some of the colors and then when you scoop them out you can see them much better uh, I've added plastic eggs, all kinds of draining devices from the kitchen that I have, and we pretty much just poured it in. We build up on it by putting it inside the bottle, and uh, after we put it inside the bottle, I used an empty balloon, twisted it on top, I blew it up a bit so there's a bit of air, and we poured in the beads inside the balloon. You will see it later in this video to make this squishy balls. They actually are sold. Um, in a lot of stores filled with Orbeez. Uh, so you can see here the process. The next fun sensory bin we tried out was colored foam. For uh, each fourth a cup of water, you needed two tablespoons of soap. I actually ended up doing mine with the whisk because my blender did not create the uh, appropriate amount. If you're trying to do it at home, what I would suggest, try to stick to two to three colors. If you do any more than that, it's kind of difficult. We honestly just whisked them together with them. We made cupcakes. Um, this sensory bin was definitely hit with scarlet where Justin did not like it. And he does not like shaving cream either. And that's what I was saying that a lot of the children will have their own preferences. It probably was one of the prettiest sensory bins. The downside of this one is that you cannot reuse it. Once the foam is done, it's done. The fun part that we built up on it, we actually used our patio and we drew in the foam if you have a window or a mirror you can make it even educational you can write out the letters which is a great way for sensory and also um, development of your child or you can just do different pictures like we did flowers and everything else For our next sensory bin, we used colored chickpeas. We soaked them in for about a few hours and gel food coloring. And let me tell you, the chickpeas do not take color very well. So you might want to add a little bit extra if you are doing this sensory bin. We did quinoa in the past and the colors turned out way brighter. I say we were very, very happy with this bin. It was mainly the transfer work. I put different utensils for the kids to transfer the chickpeas into the bags, from the bags into the other devices. This is actually um, a little device to uh, for the tea, if you have a loose tea and it worked great. Transfer work in general is great for young children for development of fine motor skills and hand-eye coordination. And this specific sensory bin is perfect for that. Another great part about it is that it can be stored away and you can bring it out as many times as you want. You I actually use that same baggies and to store the chickpeas in it. I prefer to give children different utensils for any kind of sensory bin. Um, if you're looking online, you could see animals, you can see different ideas with my kids doing the transfer work, doing all kinds of uh, manipulatives works much better. 
I would say my main must-have is having that plastic wading pool that you see around it. Mine is from Target and it was about $10. It is amazing for so many reasons. And in this case, it keeps quite a bit of a mess inside. Um, and I would like to say that this sensory bin was probably the cleanest one. Our next sensory bin is Taste Safe snow it's made out of cornstarch for the visual my bag was two and a half pounds and it was exactly eight cups of cornstarch and that's what i need for this recipe also there was a half a cup of olive oil and i added a bit of peppermint you want to mix the cornstarch with oil inside the gallon bag and then you can dump it inside your bin i've also added as you've seen a few bottles with food coloring uh, we actually made ice cream with scarlet made cupcakes justin and i just made snowballs it has a really cool texture it actually even crunches almost like a snow having a mint smell to it adds an extra sensory exploration this bin was spent the most time playing with and it left on our patio for about two to three days in this uh condition scarlet put so much effort into making her cupcakes it was really cute i've actually enjoyed the texture too i am somewhat of a texture person so it was really fun for me as well for the extensions for this activity i just used different cups and also measuring spoons that had rounded edges so we could make ice cream My droplets are from the artistic section of Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure you can find similar uh, devices online as well. And uh, I use them for many, many activities with my kids. I just mix up some gel food coloring with water, put them inside those bottles, and we typically decorate during many different sensory bins. Um, Scarlett loves doing sensory activities, so this is definitely up her alley. And doing the cupcakes is so fun. She's really proud of her creations. So I put one up top and then I made this beautiful rose. That is very beautiful. In the mess department, this is totally the messiest sensory bin we've done, though it is cornstarch and it washes off pretty easily. After we were done doing uh, ice cream and making snowmen, we created non-Newtonian fluid, which basically we added four more cups of water to that same recipe. I added food coloring again for the Earth Day because we were doing it right around Earth Day. And if you're not familiar, this fluid is a solid if you squeeze it and as soon as you let it go, it becomes uh, liquid again. It's really fun and we actually spent lots of time playing with it. It makes this really cool gooey texture. Our last sensory bin is a snow powder. We love this. This is our go-to on a rainy days activity. We use three scoops of the snow powder and I love adding colored water. So we're using the gel food coloring from uh, Wilton, I believe it is. And we just pour it in uh, three milliliters to three scoops and you see it grow. The prep for this sensory bin is equally as fun for the kids. We used four different colors and then we added some animals and some glass beads. The snow butter is cold and squishy to touch and when you add the glass beads they're really firm so when we do this sensor bin i always add them and the kids really love them they're like little ice having animals actually uh, created lots of fun pretend play they were running from each other they were hiding in snow it was snowing on them and then once the colors got all mixed the color of the snow changed and when it sat overnight it became green this snow you actually can keep for about two to three days i would not suggest to do it any longer because it can get moldy if you do it if you have it for over a week As an addition to this sensory bean, I just added a tub of water and we were washing off our animals and glass beads. Uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I gave you some ideas on like how you can entertain your young children at home. Also check out my homeschool vlogs and my rainy day activities for young children, how you can get the wiggles out. If you love this kind of content, make sure to give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you later. Bye!